Manikam Tagore of the Congress Party is back with us. Mr. Tagore, you were making a point about what the BJP has said before we lost your line about the fact that the Congress ignored other Prime Ministers who were from the Congress Party but never really were part of the Gandhi Nehru Parivar and their work, their contribution was always overlooked and ignored. It's very unfortunate. The pettiness uh, shown by Mr. Narendra Modi, who has been trained by RSS uh, always to hate Mr. Uh, Nehru, whose contribution to the country is well known. The Trinmurti Bhavan is a historic monument where India's destiny was captured. The architecture of India's post-independent glory was our first Prime Minister Nehru. Erasing his legacy by changing the name of Nehru Memorial Museum to and, li and library is a petty act, which only further diminishes the status of stature of, stature of the current regime. India's every success is achieved on the foundation of Nehru's vision. India knows that and removing his name from a museum will not change the reward stature that Nehruji enjoys in every Indian heart. Let us be very clear that Mr. Narendra Modi and RSS can keep on uh, throwing mud at Nehru and uh, the sacrifices he had made it. But these people of India are not going to accept it. You know, what I want to ask you is that, Mr. Manikam Tagore, the BJP-led central government says that we wanted to do it for the sake of other prime ministers and to highlight their contribution. Are you essentially against that or are you saying that could have been done differently? What is it that you're saying? Uh, exactly what you had asked the right question. What I am saying is Nehru's contribution and Teen Murthy Bhavan's contribution in the run-up to the freedom cannot be ruled out. We need to understand that Teen Murthy Bhavan as a place has played the historic monument in India's uh, destiny. Therefore, we need to understand that that place can't be made as a place for all other uh, PM's memorial. PM memorial can be a place where all other PM's would have lived. All other PM's would have contributed. Mr. Narendra Modi wanted to erase the history of Nehru and the contribution of Gandhi. Therefore, only has changed the parliament and he has changed the uh, new parliament building has also been changed. And the uh, old parliament building, why? Because there is uh, the, the history can be changed because central hall, all halls will become now only uh, uh, defunct thing. They want to erase the history of um, Nehru and Gandhi, which was embedded with the freedom struggle. Okay. And they wanted to mix it with some other politics. All right. The people will reject it. This is these people will not accept. Okay, this is a controversy that isn't going to die down anytime soon. Manikam Tagore, what is the option that all of you have before you right now? How is the Congress going to raise this any further? We will raise it in the parliament and we will go to the people. People are the real masters who have to decide it because we have to uh, people are more uh, concerned about the other issues of price rise and uh, and uh, all other the joblessness around India and across India and the, the way Modi and uh, Amisha wants to divide and insult women. You know all that thing, what is happening in Delhi, the way in, uh, the BJP MPs are, are being protected by the uh, people in the power. power. And those rich people like Adani's are handed over the wealth of India. These things will go on. We will go to the people. We, we hope that people will understand the volume of uh, destroy, disaster the Modi government has made it. And the people will, in 10 months, will reply to the uh, decision which Narendra Modi and Amit Shah has taken it in the past nine and a half years. All right. I'm going to, in fact, uh, thank you uh, for the moment, Mr. Manikam Tagore.